Hi folks, my name is Stephanie Gray and I'm Darrell Stevenson and we are both the owners and the chefs of the Millside restaurant in Bluff Hills. You, we asked, you voted and the winner tonight was chili chicken pasta. However, for all those people out there who are not fond of chili, we decided to do a double. We're going to do chili chicken pasta, chicken bacon and mushroom pasta. We started this channel due to coronavirus 19 and everybody being stuck in the house. However, so let's just grab a wee drink, glass of wine or beer, relax, and let's get cooking. So folks, for chili chicken pasta, the first thing we need to do is make the base. And the base sauce for both these dishes, and that's why we joined them, is velouté. So we've got flour, butter, seasoning, and stock. Daryl will talk you through how to make this, so we'll pass these to him. Thank you. And he start with those. You will you will see these. So for our chili chicken pasta, we have chicken, chicken strips, pasta, chili, cream, and some seasoning. What I would suggest is when you're making your velouté, make it one day ahead. The one thing you don't want is runny sauce. So if you make your velouté, which we will use tonight, but we will show you how to make it. We've made this yesterday and this is the one we're going to make. For our chicken, bacon and mushroom, we've got pasta, mushrooms, chicken, bacon. For both these sauces, we will be using a garlic butter, which I have made earlier in the day. Quite simple and easy to make. And this will be the base for both these pastas. I'm going to pass you over to Daryl, who's going to start the cooking process and talk you through each dish. Okay, folks. So we're going to start with uh, with the velouté sauce, which is equal quantities of uh, butter and flour. So we're going to let the butter melt away there, and uh, we'll just keep developing the velouté as we go. As Stephanie said, we already have some velouté pre-made. Um, so. Two pans, both seasoned with a bit of oil. Going to add in the chicken and get the chicken fried up. That's more like it. Always make sure it's got a good season, important. So we're just going to let that cook away. I'm going to try get it all sealed off. So it's nice and brown. Remember, as I said, it's important to keep hydrated during the cooking, cooking process. I'm not saying that in the one. So we nearly got there with the uh, with the butter. Let it cook down. Garlic butter into this one. Just go for the garlic butter, it's got a better colour and a great flavour. Mm. Okay. Oh, 
cracking on. I'm going to mix the flour and the butter together. That's going to make a roux. Chicken stock. It's a slow process, you could add it gradually. I'm using a wooden spoon, but you might find it easier using a, a balloon whisk. At every stage where you get it nice and smooth, you add a wee bit more in. Get some of the bullet in for there. Put that in. I'm going to have the bacon on the uh, mushrooms for this one. I definitely said the blue is best made the day before, but it adds a wee bit more labor intensive to get it to get it right. I just want to add a wee bit of water to this because that stock is quite, uh, quite heavy. I'm adding the garlic butter to the chicken and bacon and mushroom. I'm going to give it a nice and subtle thick flavour. I'll bring a bit more colour into it. Chili chicken pasta. I'm gonna add a good uh, quarter to half pint of cream goes into that. Let that cook out another wee minute or two. And they're ready for a taste of the end of this one. So you won't have to do the video at the same time as you're doing the pastas because hopefully you'll have it already creamy. Really, it's up to yourself. Some people like it. Plenty of chili, some people don't like it just as warm. You can get 
sweet chilli, you can get spicy hot chilli. There's lots of options for the chilli. Just let me say, this is the one that most of the Millside customers ask to, uh, to see. The one we would sell the most of. Again, I'm up for a bit of water because I know the stock's quite strong. seasoning on that first. I'm going to leave the pasta for the end because it's pre-cooked. I don't want that going mushy or soft on us. ready to serve. So folks, really that's it. Put a little wee bit of garlic bread in the oven, just serve along with it. Just garlic bread slices out of the any certain market. We can forget about the fillet sets. That's done. That's the sort of consistency you're looking for. And you're hoping when it cools down, and you're going to use it, it's going to remain that, you don't want it getting uh, thick and, and lumpy on you. chicken pasta if you want to learn if you don't want to buy shop uh, chili, uh, chili sauce we can do a tutorial on it just let us know on a text below also this week we're going to do tobacco onions scotch eggs and some of our other dishes that you sent us we text and keep safe and keep texting us and we'll do whatever we need to do stay safe folks thank good you luck. good luck